Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com. Uh, nightly update show. What a crazy, uh, nutty, absolutely just insane uh, day. Uh, if you watched last night's video, uh, we had a very clean, very, very clean plan for today. Uh, semiconductor short. GameStop had a lot of call buying. We'll get to that in a second. Couldn't possibly have played out any better. We'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, thank you for very much for finding us for tuning in, spending about 10, 15 minutes with your day for us. Uh, if you like the content, if we like what we're doing, uh, only thing I ask is take a moment out, click the like button, share, subscribe, and I will continue to do my best to get you set up for the next day. Now for next week, for next month, for next year, for the next day. So we talked about it, right? Uh, this is probably one of the wilder days um, I could remember um, I literally looked up at four o'clock and I go, how much was the Dow up? Wait, what? The Dow was up 740 points. Did anybody even realize that? Did anybody have any idea that the Dow was up 740 points? I am so locked into, uh, the names that I follow, the NASDAQ 100 names. I had no idea, no idea whatsoever that Dow was up 740 points. Uh, obviously, uh, Bank of America played a big part of it came out with earnings, kicked off earnings season, uh, did very, very well, obviously took the other financials with it. You have UNH, right? When was the last time you saw UNH put a move like this? Uh, so Bank of America, the semi, the, the financials, the healthcare names, a lot of the Dow darlings, 740 points. Again, you don't see that uh, every single day. Logically, the NASDAQ would be up three, 400 points as well, right? Not so much. Dow, uh, the Nasdaq was up 30 points. That's it. 30 points. Uh, again, we are continuing to see uh, weakness. You know, weakness in uh, semiconductor names, weakness in all the stocks that had big, big runs uh, over the last uh, X amount of months. You can turn around and say it's rotation. The stocks are tired. The stocks need a break. The stocks need to go sideways. Uh, there is money flow into the Russell. And again, how crazy is this IWM? What in the name of God is going on here, right? By the time I realize this damn thing is really strong, look at the move. The IWM in four sessions, guys, is, is up from 203 to 224. That's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, but the moral of the story is you can't be in everywhere, right? You can't be. It's like me. I have two kids, right? Two kids, two separate uh, two separate. Uh, ways of uh, having activities. I can't be in one town for my son's practice, be in another town in my in my daughter's game. So you can't be everywhere. Uh, so the key to this business, at least for me, is stick within your lane. The grass is not always greener. The grass is there in your lane. Just wait for it to you know wait for it to grow, mow it, water it, nurture it, feed it, and you'll have a nice big green uh, shiny lawn. And in my world, right, in my world. Uh, where the technology names were, it's a pretty damn good day, especially in the morning. Uh, you had the semiconductor group, and we talked about yesterday. Again, like I said last night in the video, you know, you have three consecutive days of higher lows, but you also had three consecutive days of lower highs, and today was day four of a lower high, and it stopped right at the engulfing candle of last week's lows. That 3270 level is still very, very valid. Is it possible it was a, a triple bottom today and the semiconductors wake up tomorrow? Why not? Right? Absolutely. Why not? But we still know, and this is still valid, that a 270 area is definitely in the line in the sand. And because the semiconductors pulled today, so did everything else. You guys remember last night we talked about NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA was very, very tight. It was very close to losing the 20-day moving average. And again, keep this in mind. We, we, we're we never talking about, I'm never talking about a destruction of stocks. The stock's going to zero. The stock's going to bankrupt. 
We're just trying to take advantage of the next day's channels so we can have a you know decent, if not measured potential move on the trade. So we talked about NVIDIA yesterday, gorgeous move, beautiful move. We talked about uh, AMD yesterday, gorgeous move, right? Absolutely gorgeous move. We'll get to the uh, pivots in a second. We talked about Micron yesterday. You guys remember with Micron? It held the bottom of the range three times. This thing got pulled to today. Uh, Microsoft, beautiful pull today. Awesome pull today. You had Tesla. Tesla was nice as well, right? Tesla was nice as well before it reclaimed back the 10 day moving average. So you had a really great trading session today. Uh, something for everyone, obviously. I mean, the Dow was up 740 points. If that's your thing, that's your thing. And GameStop, you guys remember GameStop last night? We talked about they were coming for nonstop, right? 2750s, uh, 29 weeklies, 30s, 35 weeklies. Guys, this is the highest close in this whole formation above the Bollinger Band. Looks great. I, I never thought in my wildest dreams in the, in the last X amount of years I would turn around and go, boy, this GameStop looks absolutely awesome. But it absolutely does. And it really does show you that if you have a very specific strategy, again, you don't have to be trading pivots uh, or trading like me or trading like anybody else. But if you're patient with your specific style of trading, whether it's swing, intraday, whatever the case may be, something will fall into your lap. It might not fall into your lap today like you want it, but something will fall into your lap. So going into tomorrow, look, is this IWM a tad extended on the upside? Maybe a tad, right? Again, maybe in the next a day or so, kind of like uh, a scenario we saw when, with uh, uh, Tesla, you know, a little bit too far, too fast. Maybe in the next day or so, it gives a blow off. Again, I don't want to use the word top. Maybe a blow off pause. After all, you know, what was the last time you saw an index do this, right? And an ETF do this in a four-day period. So be very, very careful. Again, especially if you're buying IWM tomorrow for your first trade, you might probably look for other places for better value. Because again, remember, this is jumping off the first floor, right? Reclaiming back the 50-day moving average. Here's your jumping off the 21st floor. And like we talk about all the time, yeah, you might get a scraped knee, bumps and bruises, maybe even break a leg. But up here, if you're wrong up here, you're going to have a separate head. Again, see Tesla, for example, what happened uh, last uh, week. Other than that, man, let's get to the pivots. Uh, pretty cool stuff, guys. Really, really pretty good stuff here. Um, you know, here is here we are. And look, I go right towards the end of the day. It's hard to ignore all these call buyers. They go, I'm going to keep this thing overnight. I woke up this morning. It was up like 50, 60 cents. And then they jammed it up. You know, I took a quarter off pre-market. They jammed it up uh, into 28 and a half. We sold some more up a dollar and a half. Uh, here was the pivot, right? Here was the pivot yesterday. Uh, here was the pivot yesterday on uh, GameStop. It closed right at 27. 2690, 27 was the magic number. It closed right at 27. All, all these coal buyers, like we talked about last night, uh, a lot of stuff there. Big, big moves going on there. Uh, and then here came with all the shorts, guys. These were, you know, this was a pretty much. Uh, made the entire day. We had the game plan. We were watching the semis. We talked about last night. If these semis start losing the channels, these were some great moves. So let's start off with NVIDIA. Uh, 127 held three times. If it builds below, can flush. Look at NVIDIA, man. Look at this move on NVIDIA uh, pre-market. Let's just get this thing out of the way. This is obviously a bad tick, right? Look at this. So here is 27, L27, 27, 27. Finally took out 27, went down to 24 and change. Uh, you had snow. I, I, I honestly, I wasn't even watching snow today. What did snow do? 32.20. Yeah, never, it never got there anyway. Uh, never got there anyway. Uh, AMD, we talked about it last night. It was bear flagging. All it needed to do was lose the five day, 177 and a quarter. If it builds below, can flush. Here was AMD, right? So it took out the 77 and a quarter. It took out this whole range here, 77 and a quarter, went all the way down to 74 and change. Beautiful move there as well. Uh, Micron, 130, held three times. If it builds below, can flush. Kind of get the point. These semis, again, all you need is a plan. All you need is a plan and wait for that plan to execute. Here was Micron. It took out this whole 30 range, went all the way down to 27. Again, beautiful move there as well, right? Here was, you know, here was, uh, you know, here was, uh, 
uh, you know, GameStop. GameStop did great today. Uh, NEXT, we were still watching. You guys remember last night we talked about Riot, right? 1170 needs to build. There's initial supply in 1190. Any close above 1190 is super bullish. Um, Riot went nuts. Went absolutely nuts, guys. Look at this move on Riot. So it got back, you know, it got over the 1170, got over the 1190, traded all the way up to almost 13. Congratulations for you guys who are holding a runner. Even Tesla got slammed. Great recovery by Tesla, but this thing got slammed. 251.73. If it builds below, can flush. Here was the Tesla pivot. Again, guys, we're not trying to guess the closing price here. We're just trying to win our interval. So again, sorry for the bad ticks. E-signal once in a while puts in these bad ticks. So here was the 51.73. It took out 51.73, went all the way down to 45 and changed. Great. I mean, excellent morning. Really, really excellent morning. Uh, Square, you know, went up about a buck. Nothing really big there uh, as well. Uh, AI... Uh, 3112 needs to build. Really wasn't watching AI. I have no idea. 3112 looks like it went to 3150 and turned around and died on a vine. Uh, Microsoft was big too. Uh, 405060. If it builds below, it can flush. Here was Mr. Softy. Right, it took out this 45060 level, traded all the way down to 46. Again, great flushes this morning. Again, the more, most important part is. Uh, we were prepared for it, and SMH is 270, big level. That's literally where it stopped again. So that is going to be a big level uh, going forward. Uh, you know, going into the close, you had Tesla do a great job. I mean, big, big rally off the bottom. You know, let's keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow. If it can reclaim today's channel, maybe you start, you know, Julian back up. So let's keep an eye on that. I'm still watching for, you know, the semiconductors for... Uh, any weakness uh, again they just they're just not rallying guys that's the whole point they're not rallying so if they're not going to rally i'm going to continue to watch them to the downside again they're giving us channels it doesn't mean they're going to give us channels every single day but again we talked about mu we talked about amd we talked about nvidia yesterday they all came uh they all came to roost today so it's a really really uh big you know big big morning uh today so let's talk about some ideas for tomorrow let me give you guys some up upside uh potential trades you got ebay uh, potentially getting above this channel looks really, really good. Uh, you got Shopify upgraded today. First close above this daily supplies after their crazy, uh, after their crappy quarter. If Shopify can just get back above today's range, maybe this thing wakes up. Uh, Google does not look good, guys. Not look good. Today, Google stopped right at the 20 day support. If Google confirms the 20 day support for tomorrow, it's going to get pulled. Again, we're trying to be prepared on both sides of the market. So if one market uh, doesn't give you value, well, then the other side will. And that, again, that's the importance of trading uh, both sides. Um, Meta, let's talk about Meta. I didn't realize this. Meta survived and held the 50-day moving average today. Again, remember, below the 50 days bearish, above the 50 days bullish. Meta reclaimed back the 50-day moving average today on the close. Now, here's where it gets pretty decent for a, a potential move. If this stock starts bouncing tomorrow, that's fine. But if it loses the 50-day moving average tomorrow and confirms today's channel, Meta's going to go lower. So it's a very, very important day uh, for uh, Meta as well. I'm still watching this NEXT. We talked about it last night in the video. Had an inside day today. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm still watching this thing for the next couple of days. But other than that, guys, every single day should be exactly the same thing. Look at the charts. Get ready. I don't know what kind of trader you are. I don't know what your specialty is. I don't know where your lane is. For me, it's high beta. It's mega cap technology. Again, like I said, I had no idea that that was up 740 points. And again, it had nothing that no way of affecting my day one way or another. You're not going to be everywhere. You're not going to get every single trade. You're going to butcher a lot of your trades. You're going to miss a lot of your trades. You're going to be human. That's what a human being does. But the over the course of time, as many trades that you miss and mess up and so forth, you're going to get those trades, right? You're going to get your share of trades as well, and they will eventually trade to measured potential. Guys, have a great day. Great job this morning, especially this morning. Uh, again, we're, we're set for both sides. And tomorrow, let's see which side will confirm and give us the best bang for our bucks. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Now, we'll see you on the field tomorrow.